field. What do you say we play two? This is Sooner Softball brought to you by Bud Light. I am DJ Sanchez alongside Aaron Miller Thiessen. Getting set, Roberts in the two hole and Savannah Jesse in the three. Popped up on the infield. Tiara Jennings, gotta take care of it. You gotta love it. Much better start already for Nicole May. This was an offense that was. Sky high to center field and Jada Coleman will take care of it. And Nicole May retires the side to start the game. 0-2 oh, on the season with a 21 ERA. And Jada Coleman getting things moving in the leadoff first. Fantastic play in one of those corners. I'm sitting here just flipping back and forth on my score butter at all. Kinsey, Hansen now in the four hole. Tiara Jennings. Lacing it to the right side of the field. Jada Coleman held up it. Ground ball right back to her. Shot to roll two, and they will. And just like that, loaded. Two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. And Liberty gets out of it wow. as Reagan Barrett. Shuts it down, and the freshman, Katie Love, getting out of a jam. The play, wow. Doesn't happen often. Haley Dieter laces one, but right at Riley Boone in left field, and it is four straight retired for Nicole May. Let's take center field, and Cassidy Pickering in right with Kinsey Hansen rounding out the battery. And Alyssa Brito, as she always does, it's amazing how that works. It's amazing huh? how that works. And line drive right back up the middle. Wow. And Jada Coleman says, take a big turn, please. But Sierra Kirsten with the first base hit of the game. And called third strike. A little bit of a delayed call as the pitch got away from Hansen, but Nicole May. Yeah, but also, again, trying to find the right formula of how are you going to get the most run production? And struck well. Wow. And that's going to get out of here in a hurry. Sydney Sanders puts the Sooners on the board with one swing of the bat. And there is the power that everyone knows the junior has and just putting an absolute swing on a ball. Make it one nothing. When your seven hole can swing a bat like that, Trying to pick where to put that power feels like splitting hairs at this point. This it, ball was smashed. That was mid shin. Yep. Almost golfs for this pitch. This is not a bad pitch. I want to state this. Mm -hmm. Katie Love has done a tremendous job now through a full inning and facing this lineup for the last three hitters before it turns over. That That is not a bad pitch. Being things together and that slow burn is worse, right? You just give up the slow, solo shot and move on. Riley Boone is on her horse, but Reagan Barrett throws on the run and gets rid of her for the first out of the inning. And Liberty is a very solid defensive. And two thirds innings thrown. And Torres laces it in the right center field gap. Should be. A stand-up double, and Alina Torres. The first. Lifted to left field. It's going to fall in front of Haley Dieter. Torres moves up, and Jada Coleman. See what's in motion here, if it, any at all. Pitch gets away. Alina Torres will score easily. Jada Coleman off with the pitch, and is going to go from first to third. And gets away and thought it for a second this was a foul ball, but it wasn't. There was mm -hmm. no contact made. This is off the glove of Kirsten, the catcher. I want you to take a look at Jada Coleman. Never yep. puts on the brakes. Doesn't even hesitate. And laying it down, Jada Coleman. 
bit of a base running mistake there. <laughs> I thought she was going to go. Yep. It's like a swinging bunt. She had it. She did have it. She had it. <laughs> Struck well, and it's going to be long gone. Tiara Jennings with a two run shot. Making a pair of home runs in the inning. Sooners up four zip here in the second. It's just a matter of time before Tiara Jennings got a hold of something in here. This one wasn't even close. No question about it. Clears the entire bleachers in the outfield. Almost hits the awning. That home run's brought to you by Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas. On a pretty good pitch, right? Not a bad location. And we're just starting to see misses now as Kinsey Hansen laces through the 5-6 hole for her first hit of the day. There's the off-speed low. Hansen takes off. And there are a few things I love more than a base runner reading. The Real walk back in the first. And gonna beat it out at first. Ball gets away and Kinsey Hansen will slide in safely for the fifth run of the inning. And Cassidy Pickering with a big grin on her face. Run and make it 5-0. I'm gonna make note, this run, this RBI, mm -hmm. well, because of the error at first base, the mishandling there. A run scored only possible here because of the aggressiveness of Kinsey Hansen. Both on the ability to take the extra scene in and out of the lineup at times. The freshman. And goes down on strikes. Taking a pitch too close for any strike zone. Two home runs. T.R.A. Jennings will glove it and retire. Byram for the first May picks up the squib and will get Barrett at first base for the second out of the inning. You hold your breath sometimes. And hit well to the right side. The Pickering is there to take care of it for the third out of the inning. And Nicole May sits him down in order. And Sid Sanders with the walk. That is takes off with the pitch. And she'll slide in safely. And just like that, she almost slid over second base. <laughs> slid over the bat. With, I mean, we've, I think we're going to talk about it at nauseam as the line drive over the glove of Byram. Here comes Bland. She will score. And Riley Boone slides in safely to make it 6 nothing Sooners way. This is good hitting. Just slices it down the left field line, goes opposite field. It's enough to snag an RBI. Just so well placed by day. Um, but we've seen a different one through nine every game so far this weekend. And ground ball right back up the middle. Riley Boone gets held up at the last minute. And Alina Torres. We'll stay put at first base. And Torres takes advantage of an opportunity. And there is that base running. We are seeing it today. Aggressive heads up and taking advantage of mistakes. The base running is always there. It has been all weekend where there's been a little bit of bumpy, bumpy course for Oklahoma with pitching and hitting. Base running just hasn't wavered. I don't know what number I was looking at, but it's over 25 home runs in the starting nine, not 16. That's the pop we're dealing with. Ada Coleman for strike two, but laced right at MC Wilson. Here comes Riley Boone, and she will slide in safely and call it a sack fly for Jada Coleman.
Avery Hodge stays put at second base. After an ugly check swing, way out on the front foot, she sees a pitch deep and laces it up the middle of the field. But she does, she backs it up, she's a baller. And speaking of, there's the walk. Having a good at back to roll it to Tiara Jennings. Hit a two run shot back in the second and the ball gets away. Avery Hodge and Brito will both move up. Doing just a Jammed and right to second baseman Brooke Roberts, and that's a huge out for Escobar. With offense. And right back, it's going to get past Escobar, and Hanson's going to beat it out. Hodge will score. And we'll call it an infield single. And the RBI for Hanson makes it 8 nothing Sooners. And that's one way to get it done. You got to take them when you get them. This is a hard-hitting Kinsey Hansen. You can see how deep the infield is playing. Behind the base path, Roberts at second base has nowhere to go but just to try and throw the body. Two outs. Right back up the middle. Hansen, round second. She will be safely at third base. And Cassidy Pickering. Second hit up. The freshman poking one up the middle of the field. I think now we're going to have a, a pitching change. And that'll be the day for Escobar as the Sooners make it 9 nothing here in the bottom of the third. We will tell you more about that pitching change when we... And good at bat for Parker as she draws the walk to load him up for Sydney Sanders, and it looks like popped up left side on the infield, should do it. Reagan Barrett's on her way back, and it's going to get down. Bases will be cleared. And what will be scored? A double for Sydney Sanders, a three RBI double hung up in the air, and you could just see Liberty shortstop Reagan Barrett drifting and drifting and drifting. So you call this a high sky yeah. because there's hardly a cloud in the entire sky. The sun is shining and with no clouds. I was an outfielder. There can be a little bit of deception with the depth of where the ball is. I'm giving no excuses here because this ball without a doubt needs to be caught. It gets you out of an inning. The bases were loaded. That would have been inherited. Runners at second and third, ground ball to Jemiah Byram. And that'll take care of it, but not before the Sooners put up seven to make it 12 nothing. We head to the top of this weekend. Melissa Brito fires it across to retire Brooke Roberts for the first out of the inning to bring. And then pitch gets away and hits Jesse in the foot to bring up Haley Dieter. And I think. And what a backhand trying to roll it for two, and they're going to get her. Jennings and Avery Hodge roll the pair. The inning continues. It popped up on the left side, and it's going to get down and pass left fielder. Deer and Avery Hodge in for what will be ruled a stand up double. For the pinch hitter Hodge. Jada Coleman stays hot, laces it through the three four hole. Here comes Avery Hodge. She will score into the teens for the Sooners. 13 runs on the board, and Jada Coleman stays hot. It was a fly out, a very hard line drive fly out to center back in the third. Which was really sack fly. Uh, yes, it, I think she's seen the ball. Now takes on Georgia at 430. That's a 24 4 matchup. And hit well to right field if it's got enough, and it does. Alyssa Burrito with the oppo bomb. 
And this offense has come to life, to say the least. And that home run's brought to you by Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas. Makes it 15 nothing, Oklahoma. All gas, no breaks today. Message received. Message would you say? received, I do believe. That one got out in a hurry. An oppo, oppo taco for Brito. Sending this one over right field. Having a pretty good day. Two for three, a single and a two run home run back in the second. But Bachman comes in and makes a statement with the strikeout here today. Two for three with a pair of runs scored. At an RBI. And laced right at Egan Fortner at first base and two quick outs for Paige Bachman. Struck well and could get down, and it will. And Hannah Korsbar with a two-out single. Ella Parker, 0 for 1 here. And ground ball right back to Bachman, and Bachman shuts it down. Out of the bullpen in relief. Sooner consecutive win. Watching that NCAA record just grow and grow, and Ground ball up the middle, Avery Hodge not gonna have enough time and Wilson is aboard with a leadoff single. Sydney Sanders will take it herself. Sanders now two outs away. But an opportunity here to get the Flames on the board and struck well and it's gonna get out of here. Over the right field wall and Megan Fortner Gets the Flames on the board, breaks up the shutout with the two-run shot. Makes it 15-2 here in the fifth. Keep taking your hacks. This is what Liberty does well, is they continue to fight. This is the grit, this is the fire that's in their bones. This is how they're coached. They're a well-tested team and no matter the score, even with a 15-run de deficit, they're still taking their hacks. And you hear this a lot is... And hit well to the right side, and it's gonna be back-to-back -back bombs for Liberty. And all of a sudden, this feels reminiscent of what we saw a day ago. And not just back-to-back -back bombs, home runs coming from the bottom half of this lineup. 15-3. It's really interesting, almost the, the mirror of performances that we've seen between Kelly Maxwell and Nicole May. Nicole May coming out today, very calm, very in control, attacking the zone, which is what we saw yesterday from Kelly Maxwell. <laughs> and then the roles are reversed here late in this game. Year over year, has a tough RPI schedule. Lisa Brito does a good job of staying with it, but the throw is gonna pull Sydney Sanders off the bag. And pinch hitter Bryn McManus will reach base. And but lineup rolls back to the top of Rachel Coop. Biggest stick in this lineup, and Avery Hodge making her way into foul territory. And that is a huge out for Kelly Maxwell. Home plate umpire, give her a second. We're back to it. A swing and a miss, and that will do it. Maybe not the out in Kelly Maxwell would have liked to have seen. But closing it with an exclamation point and the strikeout. OU wins 15 to 3 and extends that win streak to 71 games. I think today Oklahoma can feel really good about what they came out with. A suffocating offense. A really solid day in the pitching circle. Defense was money. You know what stuck out to me the most?